Now, when you're dealing with the nine chakras, because they left out two chakras, the two chakras are located in your legs. Well, one's in your legs, the other one's on your sole of your feet. So that's when they say the soul, the soul of the feet. So when you're dealing with the seven, the seven chakras, the two chakras was left out for a reason because they knew that you can tap into the 22 chakras. So that's why they left out the um, other two chakras. The other two chakras equals the nine. Now, when you're dealing with this three dimensional realm, everything moves at three, six and nine. Everything moves in this three dimensional realm at three, six and nine. So the two chakras that they left out, they did that for a reason. That's why when you're dealing with Google, Siri and Alexa and you go on there, the information that you're seeking on there is always not going to be 100 percent. It's always going to be 80, 90, 95 percent. It's not going to be 100 percent because the whole goal is to keep you in that hamster wheel, a mental hamster wheel. That's the goal. So you got the seven chakras. It deals with the crown and then it goes down to um, your bottom, which is um, your. Um, trying to find the right, uh, right word. What well, goes down to your bottom? So when you're sitting down and you're sitting down and you're meditating and. You know. Uh, you notice that you're sitting down when you're meditating. The reason why they have you sitting down is because when you stand upright, then you'll be able to activate the other two chakras. The other two chakras. OK, when you look at uh, um, your leg, what's in your leg? What's in your legs? Your legs have th has the two biggest arteries to pump what to pump your blood through your body dealing with the plasma so when meditation can be okay when you sit this is the this is this is the thing when you do when you're doing meditation when you're sitting down you also have to stand up and do your meditation also so it's both it's a both um energy process so you also have to stand up and do your meditation to activate the other two chakras the bottom chakra the real bottom chakra is the sole of your feet dealing with the soul. That's why they call it the sole of your feet, because when you're walking on this planet in this three dimensional realm, there's electrodes, electrons, plasma, um, fusion that's in the Earth's core. So that's why they have you sitting down when you meditate with the seven chakras. They left out the other two chakras, like I said, because everything in this three dimensional realm, three, six and nine numerology. The number code, the number code. So once you tap into your nine chakras, then there's 22 chakras. If you add up 22 and nine, what do you get? You get um, 13, 13. One plus three is what? Four. What is that? The fourth dimension. To keep you away from the fourth dimension, because everything that you see around you is a deflection factor. Because once you tap into these higher sources and once you tap in to something that's greater on a mental and also um, soulful level, then you will see what's going on without even looking for. It. You will actually see what's going on without even looking for it. that simple. That simple. So the nine chakras. Right. You got the nine chakras and then in order to unlock, you have to activate the 22 chakras, which is the other upper dimensions. Right. Because when you when you got the nine chakras and then you have the, the 22 chakras total, that equals the 13 when you're dealing with 13 billion years. That is the reason why they, they push the seven chakras. Well, mankind pushed the seven chakras and not the other two chakras, because like I said, the 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 eighth the eighth chakra, the eighth chakra is in your legs. Dealing with the I forgot what that artery is called, dealing with the biggest artery that that pumps your blood through your body system. Right. And then you have the the ninth, the ninth chakra 
is the bottom of your feet, which is your soul. That's dealing with the uh, the uh, solar intelligence. So when you meditate and you're in the yoga position, right, balance it out. And then when you meditate in the yoga position, you stand up and you meditate in that same in that, um, not that same position, but you meditate for the same amount of time because it's a balance of the universe. And then you stand up and you meditate also. You just don't meditate sitting down because what you're doing is you're sending all your energy to the earth's core, but then you have to stand up and send the energy also out into the atmosphere, the universe. You have to do both because once you do both, then you start unlocking that DNA that's been encoded in you that hasn't been activated. Because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the chakras and I'm like, seven, seven is an unba uh, unbalanced number when you're dealing with the universe. That's why they push the seven in religion, because they know it's unbalanced dealing with these doctrines and these texts. Some, some of them, not all of them, but you understand what I'm saying when it comes with the seven, because they say seven is a lucky number. Theoretically, but how is it a lucky number when you're dealing with? Um, power when you're dealing with power and you're dealing with the six the three to six and the nine so that's why you see all these um, people that's in power right now they're hitting up the six they're hitting up you know um, these uh, these codes by the way of the hand signals they're hitting up all these codes because they know the power of the, the three to six and the nine. That's why when they push this, all this stuff has been so, all this stuff is old. All this stuff is old from um, dealing with, a lot of stuff came out of Egypt and dealing with the, the Greco-Roman priests, Rome and all that stuff that, that took all the, um, the information. And then why would they, pu why would they push the power information to the mass majority of people. Why would they push that to the to the regular society? So when you're dealing with when you're dealing with man, people messaging me anyway, but when you're dealing with um the seven, the seven, anything on a massive scale, right? Anything on a massive scale that's being pushed is question questionable anything on a massive scale you have to question it because it's being pushed for a reason it's just not randomly just being pushed it's being pushed for a reason and it's been pushed for the last um six thousand to three thousand years because you always got to remember man everything deals with three six and nine dealing with this three-dimensional realm When you stand upright and meditate, it's a balance of the universe. When you stand upright. And what you're what you're doing is you you're trying to get a peace of mind, but also you want to receive something that's next. Something that can move you forward into the future. And looking at this prism, aka prison, in a different light form. And to the ones that follow me, they know that, like, I, you know, I notice I, I haven't been talking about the races. I haven't been talking about the black race, the white race, the Asian race, and because all that stuff is irrelevant. That is me evolving. That is my evolvement. That's me evolving right now. Because all, all those topics, if you look at my old videos, I was talking about you know all the other races and stuff but then when i um when i was sitting here thinking i was in deep deep meditation and i was sitting here thinking and i'm like man it's way deeper than that it's, there's more to the universe than just that so dealing with the nine chakras yeah, they left out two chakras for a reason. See, they always do stuff like this because they don't want you to tap in. They don't want you to be on um, a quantum level dealing with uh, quantum physics, the electrons, protons, neutrons, fusion, plasma. 
and moving mentally forward. And see, man, that's the reason why mankind, they always push everything all old stuff. They're always going to push something old while they're looking for stuff that's futuristic. That's what they do, man. That's that. That's the little trick that they do. Dealing with their uh, witchcraft and everything else. They're always going to push something old. I'm going to give you an example. See, now when you when you listen to um, hip hop, you know, on the radio and whatnot, and then you hear a new you hear you hear new lyrics with an old beat. See, they do that for a reason. When you hear new lyrics with an old beat to it, they do that for a reason because they want your your mind to be in a loop process. So they do that for they do that for a reason. So then I'm gonna give you an example. So say like you got a you got a um a producer or a beat that is old, it's from the 90s, but they uh resurrected it with new lyrics and a new artist, right? So they resurrected it. So what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? The child is gonna listen to it, right? And then the child's gonna be like. The child's either going to like the music or not really like the music. But if they do, then what their parent going to say? Their parent's going to be like, oh, man, that beat came out in the 90s. I used to listen to that track back in the 90s. And they're going to be like, oh, you know, the child's going to be like, oh, OK. And then they're going to go backwards and listen to that same track. And be like, oh, OK, the whole point I'm making is that's the that's the tricks they play. They, they, they play the past they want you to live in the past so when i when i hear these beats and i see these beats and I, you know these old beats and then you got these old beats with with these new people these new artists on it all that stuff is orchestrated straight orchestrated it just didn't hap happen randomly you know what i'm saying especially the ones that's on the radio when you're dealing with the radio the ra d zero Ray D O the Ra, which is the Ra frequency. What is that? That's the plasma, the sun, the sun frequency. I broke down in a couple of videos with the radio. That's why when you got all these, we got all these O's behind these words, right? Studio. You got studio, right? School. Loop. There's two zeros. There's two zeros in the word loop. Keep you in that eight. Keep you in that hamster wheel. What's another word with that in it? I think I said school. School too. School. Anytime you see these words and you see them two, them two O's in it, then you know that's an agenda. I'm trying to think of another one. Um, well, you, you see what I'm saying, because once once you start listening to activation, then you'll start seeing this world like off that movie. They live. Especially if you're a young brother or sister out here and, you know, you have some type of Akashic records coming back to you. Go check out that movie. They live. It's an old movie, but that movie has a lot of uh, has a lot of scenes in it where you can um, um, mega stand what's going on right now in this three dimensional realm. Going back to the nine chakras, dealing with the nine chakras, right? The nine, and then you have the twenty-two chakras, which is the upper dimension mind activation going into ascension quicker and leaving this three-dimensional realm dealing with the other with the whole 22 chakras so when you add up the 22 and the nine you get 13. you get 13 for a reason so that's why they left out the two chakras because they always wanted you earthbound they always wanted you to be on this crust of the planet so that's why when you go on google and you you saw that a lot of even before Google was out, even before Google, Siri and Alexa was out, they um, already had pushed. They already had pushed um, you sitting on the ground 
and staying earthbound. Now, if you look at these, if you go on, because it's not a secret no more, you go on the internet and you look at these people that's running the planet right now, and then you look at, you know, their ceremonies, are they sitting down? Are they sitting down or are they standing up, upright? They're standing upright for a reason. Go on, if you go and look at a lot of these um, secret ceremonies, right? A lot, a lot of these, a lot of these ceremonies, what they're doing, they're standing upright. They're not sitting down because this, this agenda is, is been here before the internet came out, before the ethernet came out. This agenda been here already dealing with the nine chakras because the nine chakras equals the, the galactical code system. So the other two chakras, like I said, is, is the bottom of your feet, which is the soul. And then your legs, your, um, your, uh, your thighs, well, not your thighs. Oh, I forgot what that part of the body's called, but your um, your um, your leg that holds the biggest artery. That's a chakra because that artery plays a factor for your whole body to survive. So why why wouldn't they label that as a chakra? Because they didn't want you to stand upright. They didn't want you to be crust bound. They didn't want you to be on the crust of the planet. They wanted you to stay here. So when I do these videos, I come with intel. I don't come with information. Come with intel. And then you got some cats out here. They're going to be like, well, I can't Google this. I can't go on Google and find it. Some of the stuff that is, that is intel, you can go on Google and find it. You just got to look for it. Some of that stuff's not being pushed. It's being buried. That's where the term library comes from. And I had I was breaking down the term library because that's where the lies are buried. You're going to find truth in the libraries and you're going to find lies in a library. That's why it's called a library, because that's where the lies are buried. Then I had some brother, he was like, well, the library's not spelt this way. It's spelt the other way because their mind. The thing about that is like I don't even get intrigued by certain um, ignorant comments no more. Because I understand that their mind is still in preschool. Preschool, or they might be in kindergarten. They might be in the third, fourth, fifth grade mentally. So when that brother had said that, that library, that Barry's not spelt the same way as library. That Barry spelled different. They didn't even see the bigger uh, picture of, of, of the intel that I was bringing. They didn't even see it. Went right over his head. That's why I'm not. That's why my videos, man. I'm not talking about the black race no more. I'm not talking about the right way or uh, white race no more, because it's irrelevant. Because majority of them are not in the future. So why even put your energy into that? When you put your energy into stuff like that, what happens? Right? You start feeding their, um. You start feeding their organic atmosphere with your energy. That's why I stopped doing that, man. If you look at my last couple of videos, I ain't never, I ain't said nothing about the black race or the white race no more. Because it's an evolvement process. Either you're going to evolve or not. Then I had another brother yesterday, like, where are you getting all this uh, uh, intelligence from? This and that. Going back and forth. I don't go back and forth. The only time I go back and forth is when I'm sleeping. I'm going back to the I'm going to the fourth dimension and back here. That's what the term back and forth comes from. Going to the fourth dimension and coming back here. That was a term that our ancestor used back in the day because they knew they was tapped into the upper dimensions and they knew the fourth dimension was the closest one to going up to the upper dimension. So that's why the term where you get the term back and forth from. Go back and forth with nobody on the on the internet. I don't even know. The brother looked like he was like maybe 22. I'm 40. I'm almost 42 years old. That's what I'm saying. Respect your elders, even if you don't agree with them. All up on my news feed, talking about this and talking about that. I said, man, call me. Call me. I don't go back and forth. Till you can come with some intel or bring something next to the planet to move forward. I don't even don't even don't even be on my news feed or nothing and comment on anything because you're dealing with powers you have no idea about. It's just like that. Did I get a phone call? Nope. Anyway. 
dealing with the nine chakras. Standing upright, you do both. You sit down, you meditate, then you stand upright, you meditate. Because that's a balance. The universe is about balance. Straightforward. That's why everything that you see around you is a quantum deflection mechanism. I'm going to repeat myself. Everything that you see around you is a quantum deflection mechanism. I'm going to give you an example dealing with the upper dimensions. When you have to start, you have to go in order, in sequence, as above, so below. So when you're in line, if you're in line and you're waiting in line and you got two people ahead of you, right? That person has to go, then the person in front of you has to go, and then you go. It's the same thing dealing with these dimensions. And you got people pushing the fifth dimension because they go on Google. The reason why they push the fifth dimension, they go on Google, they Google something, and which they have good intentions. They got they have extended attentions. This uh, attentions. What I'm saying is that's the power of Google, Siri, and Alexa. See, they steer you away. And that, and while you focus on the fifth dimension, meanwhile, over in uh, the deep seas, the planet is still being run by parasites. While you focus on the five, they already tapped into the four. And that's considered a quantum realm deflection mechanism. See, because they don't want nobody going through no portal. Because look at the planet the way it is right now. A lot of them that know that have these secret texts and these secret archives, they know that they're not worthy of going through the portal. So what they do, they cause um, ca uh, causes, they cause war, um, um, uh, 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 famine in some countries, experiments. In some countries. Because they know the power. Of the quantum realm. Dealing with internal. And infinity. The power of the past. Everything always been about the futuristic mind power. The junk DNA, electrodes, electrons, fusion, plasma. It's always been that since the beginning of the solar system, since the beginning of the universe. Being tapped in, being connected by what? How are you going to get connected? By electricity. The mental connection I have was some other people on the planet and also some of these teachers, there's a mental connection that dealing with um, the mind being extended and going and, and, and moving faster. There's a mental, I have a mental connection with a lot of people on this planet that I'm going to give you an example. I might think of something, have a thought, and then I see a teacher start teaching about it. That's because the mental connection of this plasma is 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 um, starting to evolve the planet even quicker. That's breaking down the nine chakras, dealing with the quantum deflection, the nine chakras and the quantum deflection, right? Because the because the seven chakras is a quantum deflection. That's why, like I said, being um, crust bound, crust of the earth, being crust bound. Meditating and then also standing upright, meditate because the people that's in power they stand upright. They don't they, when they when they do their thing, they really don't um, they they don't sit down. So you have to do both to tap in to these upper dimensions, this higher energy, and also dealing with and that's dealing with the quantum deflection. It's the activated new bright ten, the futuritarian peace quasi. If you like the way the world is, don't like, don't share, don't subscribe. But if you wanted to alter, you know what to do. Peace.